Arapahoe County has one of the busiest internet luring labs in the country. Denver 7's Russell Haythorn takes us there to show us how big this problem is and help parents navigate the growing danger. Yeah, this is a huge problem. Just today, for example, investigators here in Arapahoe County were chatting back and forth with a 27-year-old male. That suspect thinks he's texting with a 14-year-old girl. So just now, Arapahoe County investigators headed out. They agreed to meet, and they're making that bust as we speak. This is a daily thing here. Investigators heading out in hopes of busting suspects, luring children over the internet and other devices. In the lab, forensic investigators show parents what to look out for. Sex predators use not only apps like Snapchat and Instagram to pose as someone they're not, they also use popular craze video games like Fortnite, where players can chat with strangers. Problem is, kids are too trusting. While they think they're talking to another kid, it can actually be a sex predator posing as a kid. Tons of parents probably see their kids play Minecraft and don't think twice about it. A lot of times these kids won't find out who, exactly who they're talking to until they, until they meet them face to face. And by then it's usually a very bad situation. Investigators offer simple common sense advice to parents talk to your kids, tell your kids to question the guy who wants to follow them. And as parents go through your kids' devices, snoop, it's better to be engaged than sorry that you weren't. Russell Haythorn, Denver 7.